So I'm just thinking like, this is somebody that I could be cool with. I don't have no friends here. This is someone who could potentially be a friend. Like you was capping with me and now you going on the internet and capping to your followers. I don't care about collabing with no influencer, with nobody. Why, why am I getting like the sense like he's about to start turning up like as if I did something wrong to you. Like, not, like what I'm not gonna do is go back and forth with a man that, and then he proceeds to delete every single message. Cause dude, this is what f do. They, they say they gonna do something, not do it. I think I lie for you. I think I die for you. Sure that you cry for you. Don't think when you're born before. I control all of Control all of It's your girl Lisi, and I'm back again with another epic, juicy, ghetto, <laughs> and drama film story time. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Lisi. My government is Alicia. And if you are a returning viewer, a subscriber, what? What's poppin', what's crackin', what's crackin'? Y'all chillin'? Y'all chillin'? I bet. Y'all see the title of the video. Today's video is more than likely titled The Sassy Man Apocalypse Influencer, Influencer Edition. Edition. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't think that I would be back so soon with a Sassy Man Apocalypse theme type of video. But I ran into one recently and just know y'all before I even get into this story time that this happened. I'm gonna tell, tell you the, the date where I, I dealt with some BS. Let me tell you, let me tell y'all the date. Today's date, as y'all can see, is March 20th. This nonsense occurred March 12th. March 12th. Okay, so <laughs> so damn near a week ago okay and i just want y'all to know this is the first time that i'm coming to the internet with a story time so soon after the events took place and that is only happening because the main character in this story decided he was going to come on beyonce's internet and cap and tell lies and portray himself to be something that he's not. So I'm here to put my two cents into, into these games. Since you wanna play reindeer games, let's play. Since you wanna go to the internet right after things happen and lie and fabricate stories, let me tell my version. And you know what, you, you, you know what, you know what y'all? There's something called his side, her side and the truth. This is the truth. This this ain't this ain't no his side, her side. This, this is the truth. So if y'all notice in this video, if my energy is coming off a little spicy, a little spicy, a little ice spicy here and there, it's because personally I feel like this man had me fed up. And I oh yeah, I feel like he had me fed up. And I'm about to get into it right now. So before I get any further, don't forget to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. That's all I gotta say. Let's just get into the video. Okay, y'all. <laughs> y'all are probably gagged already. You're probably gagged. Let's just um off the rip the code name for this person because I'm not putting his name out there. You know what I'm saying? I do my story times for entertainment purposes. I don't do my story times to like expose nobody. I mean, I probably will have receipts in this video, but this is nothing new. Me doing story times is nothing new. Y'all see my whole channel is damn near built off of story times. And it's nothing new for me to have receipts in my videos either. So that that's just that on that. His code name though, his code name is gonna be 67 or his name is gonna be 67. We naming him 67. And 67, if you watching this, What's up, hey bitch. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so in order for this story time to make sense, y'all, I gotta tell y'all the backstory. Okay, I gotta tell y'all the backstory on how we got to the main story. So let's get to the backstory real quick. So if y'all are not new to the channel, y'all know that I recently moved to Houston, Texas. 
probably like four months ago. It just it just made four months a few days ago. You know, I'm, I'm new to Texas. Like I'm very much still new. To be honest with y'all, I haven't really done anything but go to work, grocery shop, run errands and come home. I mean, I've done little excursions by myself, but for the most part, I don't have friends here. I do have two people, but we're not gonna get into the details, but we're gonna get into the details, okay? And two people that I knew previously. Okay, boom. I have my god brother out here and he lives in Texas he don't live in Houston and I have one of my homegirls from New York but we ain't gonna get into the details of everything okay well originally I wanted to go to the Houston rodeo I did not wind up going and I bought a whole outfit and everything but that's a whole other story okay so originally I wanted to go to the Houston rodeo with my homegirl from New York right but to make the long story short she could not attend and we're not gonna get into those details so the next best option was my god brother i mean i was probably gonna go with him either way we was probably gonna go on no i was i probably would have went one day with him and i probably would have went one day with my homegirl i didn't really care because the way the texans be talking about the rodeo you could go multiple times and have an extravagant time every single time it was a few weeks ago my god brother was like oh um we should just go to the rodeo the weekend of let me pull up the calendar hold on he was like we should go to the rodeo like this weekend like the first the first weekend in march was it the first weekend yeah it was he was talking about we should go like march 3rd he was already going to be in town because one of his homegirls was getting an airbnb and you know there's a possibility that they would want to go to the rodeo and he wouldn't feel right going to the rodeo if I wasn't in attendance. So I was like, all right, well, just keep me posted on if y'all are going to go whatever night. Because he was telling me basically like they was probably going to go like as soon as they got there, like the day that they got there. So he was like, I don't want to go if you're not there. So I'm like, okay, bet. So the day came, I believe it was like they got there on like a Friday. I think it was like that Thursday. It had to be like February 29th, whatever the last day of February was. He had called me and he was like, oh yeah, we coming out tomorrow. What time you get off of work? Da, da, da. So I'm telling him blah, blah, blah. So it's Friday now. And mind you, the plans were still not definitive on what they were and were not going to do. So Friday comes and he was like, yo, Alicia, here's the address to the Airbnb. You should just pop out. Like, just pop out. We probably will go to the rodeo. We might do something else. You need to just pop out. So I'm like, all right, F it. I'm going to pop out because I'm looking at the uh, the directions and it's talking about the Airbnb is an hour from where I stay at. And if y'all familiar with Houston, y'all know this shit is big as fuck. <laughs> like, it's ridiculously big out here, okay? And it's like, it's typical in Houston. You could drive, like the minimum you should expect to drive in Houston, like the absolute minimum is 30 minutes. 30 minutes and up is what you're going to be driving to get where if you're not going somewhere directly in your vicinity in your town please be prepared to drive over 30 minutes anywhere you go so i was like f it this is typical for houston i'll, I'll eat that hour up and call a day i got off of work that friday i came home i put on a cute little fit it wasn't the original fit that I was planning to wear to the rodeo, but because, you know, he had told me we would go again on a different day. I was like, all right, I'ma just wear this calm fit now and then wear my rodeo fit when we go whatever other next day. Okay, cool. So I'm on my way, feel me? I'm on my way to the Airbnb in West Bubblefuck cause that's exactly where it was at, West Bubblefuck. <laughs> And my god brother, he calls me. Mind you, I'm already on the way, y'all. So he's like, yo, like, I don't even think that we gonna go to the rodeo anymore because they already teed up. Like, they was getting drunk on the way here. So now they don't feel like going out and doing nothing no more. So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm already on the way. So we can Mac out. Like, if it's just gonna give kickback vibes, like, I'm cool with that. I ain't tripping. And he basically told me it was him and like four other girls. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like I I'm with the just chill, smoke, just chill vibes. Like anything for me to get out of the house. Cause I just told y'all like your girl, I just told y'all what I, what I've been doing so far uh, for my four months of being here. I get to the Airbnb, you know, everybody's being super nice. Mind you, it was just the four girls and my god brother there. Okay. 
for, for now. Keep that in mind. I got there and I was probably there for like 10 minutes. You know, everybody is chilling or whatever. We chopping it up. Just to give you all the layout of the crib, like when you walk in the crib, it's like a little mini hallway. And then to the left, it starts like the bathroom and the bedrooms. And then straight ahead, it's like the dining room and the living room. And then when you bust that first right is the kitchen. And in the kitchen, you know, you got your sink, you got the cabinets. In one little area, it's like this little mini well, not many. It, it looks like a picnic table, but it's like an indoor kitchen picnic table. And then there's like a little island bar area where they got bar stools and stuff like that. So a few girls were sitting by like the picnic table, eating food, whatever. I said, what's up to them, whatever. And now me and my god brother, for the sake of the story, I'ma just, I'ma just call him his, his, his name that I call him. I'ma just say RJ because y'all not gonna know his government. Anyways, so me and RJ, okay, we were standing by like the little bar area. We was just chopping up because the last time I seen him was when I had first got here in November. So yeah, we just standing by like the little bar area and we just chopping it up, having our own little conversation because me and I'm a type of person like, once you know you open me up like i get to start being a chatterbox but if i don't really know you like that i'm only going to talk to the people that i know so i'm just talking to my god brother keeping it cute okay i was probably there for no more than 10 minutes and i hear the door open and it sounds like additional people are coming in the crib and i was like oh snap like okay we about to really vibe out because now there's extra people here but i didn't know who it was <laughs> Like I said, y'all, the door is not too far from the kitchen. So the people walk in the door and I could tell like it's guys by how the bodies are looking. It's giving, it's giving my hand, it's giving my hand. So I'm like, okay, cool. So in walks the door, this chocolate man and this light skin caramel man, okay? And I'm like, who are they? Like, big fierce fork. <laughs> Cause they was both looking good if we're gonna be real like they was both looking good i'm like ooh. i don't know who i locked eyes with first i'm pretty sure it's six seven which we're gonna get into now and six seven was the light-skinned man okay so me and six seven we locked eyes and i was like ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, he look motherfucking good. Like, I ain't gonna cap. Even though he a sassy man, I give credit where credit is due. The man look good. The man look good. Him and his friend. Me and Six Seven, we lock eyes. I'm like, but then in the same moment, I was like, he look familiar. And I was just like, where do I know him from? Because someone was telling me like, did I meet this man before? Like, where did I meet him before? Someone was telling me like, you have seen this man before, but whatever, we locked eyes and he, you know, maybe he's being a gentleman. So he walk up to me and he's like, hey, my name is 6-7. I'm like, hey, my name is Alicia. He like, oh, I, I like your chain. I'm like, oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. And feel me, that was that. The other, his, his friend introduced himself and they had went and sat down at the little picnic table where two of the other girls were sitting at because they came for one of the girls. I was like, okay, mm, I, I don't mind that we not going out because I'm trying to see what's up with these. I'm trying to see what's up with these over here. I'm trying to see what's up with them because they, they looking a little all right. But then at the same time, I was in my head like, ooh, I need to figure out like who, which one came for so that I don't try to, you know, talk to one of them on some, on some chill shit. On some chill shit, like not on nothing crazy, like on some chill shit. Cause I don't know these girls. I don't need nobody trying to uh, fight me over no man that I don't even really want like that, that I just met two seconds ago. Girl, okay. The guys, they're sitting at the table talking to the girls. Me and my god brother, we over are uh, by the bar area. And my god brother, he like, yo, take a shot, take a shot. I'm like, why you trying to get me to drink, bro? Like, but whatever, all right. So I'm taking a shot, whatever. Like, we vibing, they got the hibachi song playing. Like, we like 50 flow in hibachi. Like, we, we it's vibes. So my god brother, he basically tell me, he like, oh, you know, let me know what you want to do. Like, if you want to go out and do something, because he did tell me when I was on the way, like, we can leave, go out and do our own thing, being that the girls don't want to do nothing. I'm like, nah, nah, we good, because uh, we, we could chill here for right now, because I'm trying to see what's up with these niggas. <laughs> I'm trying to see what's up with these niggas. So he like, all right, bad, I got you. I'm like, okay, period. Me and one of the girls, like, we're kikiing it up. I find out, like, one of her risings or whatever the 
is a Gemini and we're just figuring out like we might be compatible like and we just chopping out we having like a nice little girly conversation it comes to a certain point where everyone starts migrating to where me and this girl are at so everyone is kind of like surrounded the bar area and six seven you know he approaches us and he's like oh so where y'all from like Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, I'm from New York. I just moved here a few months ago. He like, oh, okay. I just moved out here too. I'm like, oh, really? When did you move? He told me he moved out here a few months ago. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up. So I'm like, oh, okay, like I have something in common with at least one person in this room. Like I'm new to Houston, you're new to Houston, that's what's up. And automatically I'm thinking like, okay, off just like the first impression, I'm thinking like, okay, this is somebody I could, you know, potentially maybe be cool with just off the strength that we're both new to the city and we're both new to the state of Texas. So we keep talking and y'all know when you meet somebody, you know, you're basically kind of doing like 21 questions. Like how old are you? What's your Zodiac sign? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. He asked me what my Zodiac sign is. I tell him Gemini. He like, mm, I don't really like Gemini's. I'm like, why y'all be doing that? <laughs> why y'all stay saying something about Gemini's? Like we're really cool ass people, but it, it's when you cross us and when you do dumb shit, like this, this this could be a result, a story time. Um, he tell me his sign. He like, oh, he a Scorpio. I'm like, mm, sting. Uh, I don't know. I, I I haven't had the best track record with Scorpios either. But mm, okay, you know, I, I I give everyone a fair shot. And I'm like, okay, that's what's up. One of my favorite people is a Scorpio. And he like, oh, who you talking about, Drake? I'm like, yeah, I'm talking about Drake. How you know I was talking about Drake? He like, oh, that's the biggest Scorpio out here. I'm like, um, yeah, possibly. And you know, I tell him like, yeah, I'm like a day one Drake fan. He like, oh yeah, that's what's up. Um, I'm a Drake fan too, da da da. I'm like, oh, really? So that's when I start really like getting intrigued because I'm just like, I don't know about y'all, but I don't meet men often who are Drake fans and who I can like talk about Drake with and bump Drake and they're not gonna be like, oh, turn that, turn that light skin off. Or maybe cause he part of the light screen crew. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> We're just getting like a lot of like information about each other. And I think I told him too, when I said, I told him like, oh yeah, I'm from Queens, da da da. And he was like, oh yeah, that's, that's why you dress like that. And I'm like, what you mean? And I'm like, well, you know what? New York is a fashion capital because I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had that shit on. Like, <laughs> I had that shit on. I was stepping that night to stay in the crib. But that's the thing about New Yorkers. Like, we'll put, if you're from New York, comment down below. Y'all already know the vibes. We'll put our Sunday's best on to stay in the living room. Like, <laughs> I don't know why we're like this, but fashion is a big thing. So, yeah, I was definitely the most uh, popping fashion wise in the room. I'm trying to think like, did this happen before or after? No, at this point, oh, hey, wait, I'm messing up the story. Y'all. I'm messing up the order of events. Before we even got that deep into the conversation, I missed like a whole part, but I'm, I'm gonna get into that right now. So boom, at first six, seven, he had came up where the bar was at and he was talking to us standing up and then somehow he had migrated over to where my god brother was at. And I seen him, my god, or RJ, I seen six, seven, RJ and the dark skin friend, they was having like a little macho guy conversation. I wasn't really paying attention to it. So it came a certain point where my god brother had came up to me. Mind you, everyone is still in the vicinity, but it's like, y'all know when it's like mad people are in the vicinity, but like in that vicinity, it's people having their own little conversation. So you're not really, everybody's not really paying attention to what everyone is doing. That's kind of what it was. So my, so RJ had came up to me. He was like, yo, you see my message? I'm like, no, what message? He like, check your phone. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I checked my phone. He was like, which one you said was cute? Cause they asked. I was like, oh my God. Why, why is you like, bro? <laughs> why i'm like bro nobody asked you to be a wingman like i just told you they was looking good like so i wanted to stay here that that didn't mean go to them and tell them what but f it whatever it's already out there so i had rolled him back and i said the light skin one he was like oh yeah somehow we figured they figured out that you was talking about him because you know what i'm gonna tell you later i'm gonna tell you later i'm like how did they okay maybe that first look girl i don't know so that's when after me and rj had that little exchange not too long after that light skin i mean six seven found a way to sit directly next to lease so i was like okay 
Okay, period. Like, okay, let's see what type of topic Six Seven and Lloyd. Okay, cool. So that's when, you know, me and Six Seven, we started chopping it up more, finding out more information about each other. All the stuff that I just previously told y'all, that's when we started talking about all of that. He he asked me, oh, where do you work? I told him where I work. He was like, oh, I'm gonna need to buy a car from you. I'm like, well, you can help me and I can help you. Like, what's up? Like, what's up? Like we just chopping it up. Like we was vibing out and it wasn't just me and me and six, seven. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Me and him was having our own little conversation for a minute, but eventually, you know, every, everyone else started getting included in the conversation and stuff. And back to what I was talking about when he said something about my outfit, I'm like, Oh yeah. You know, I thought we was about to go out to the rodeo tonight. I was telling my God brother, he need to take some flicks to me because this is like an Instagram worthy fit. Six, seven gonna go say to me, <laughs> well, you talking to a whole content creator, so I can take your flicks for you. I'm like, oh, you're a content creator? I'm a content creator too. He like, really? I'm like, yeah, like, like what you do? Like, and when I tell y'all, like when I said that I was a content creator, and when I was just saying other little things about myself to this man, it was like every little thing that I was saying, it was like, y'all know how like when a dog hears something or like they get a little excited and their ears go up. Like that's the energy that was happening when I was just telling this man little things about Lise. He was like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. He like, oh, where? I do YouTube too. And I do, he told me what else that he did. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. He was like, oh, pull up your YouTube channel. So I pull up my YouTube channel. Hold on, let me pull it up right now. So I pull up, I pull up my YouTube channel, six, seven. He scroll, girl, he, he on my phone. He scrolling through. He looking at the titles, laughing. He like, oh, <laughs> He like, oh my God, the sassy man apocalypse, the sassy, this, the original sassy man apocalypse, ha ha ha. I'm like, ha ha ha. Who would have thought you were sassy too, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> who who would have thought? Who would have known you were sassy too? Who would have known that the that the man in the original sassy man apocalypse was your cousin, was your bestie? Who would have who would have thunk it? I didn't thunk it. But yeah, he looking through the titles and he just laughing. He like, oh yeah, nah, nah, nah. You gotta tap in with me on Instagram. Like tap in me, tap in with me. I'm like, okay, cool. So he like, yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna follow you back right now. I'm like, okay, cool. Gave him my phone so he could put his Instagram in. And when he put his Instagram in, I'm not gonna tell y'all the exact number, but he had like over a hundred something K on Instagram. And I'm looking at his Instagram. I'm like, wait, you look familiar. He like, oh, where I look familiar? I'm like, yeah, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, when I first seen you walk in the door, like, I recognized you, but I didn't know from where I recognized you for. Like, I thought I had met you before, but I'm like, I think it was, I seen you before on social media. He was like, oh yeah, um, I had just cut my hair, so I look a little different. Da -da -da. You probably seen me on TikTok. Da -da -da -da. That's when it all came back to me. Like, no, I didn't see this man on TikTok before. I had seen him on Instagram before, like, and it's so crazy. Only a few weeks prior to me actually meeting him in real life, I had stumbled across his Instagram page. Cause you know how like you be scrolling on Instagram, it'll just have like a whole little thread of reels. So I think I had clicked on one of his reels and I had just looked at his page for a brief moment. I'm like, oh, okay, he look good. Okay, bye. Cause I, I, as y'all can see, I didn't even follow him because I followed him when I met him in person. So it wasn't enough for me to like, oh, like, let me dive into him. I just looked at his page briefly and I just kept the pushing. So he was like, oh, yeah, like I always find it lit when, you know, somebody tells me that they see me on social media before. Like that. Da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to make stuff hot when you came in. But OK, that's what's up. Like you do you do YouTube, too. He like, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm telling him like, yeah. I do story times, beauty vlog videos. He's like, oh yeah, that's what's up. I be doing story times on YouTube too, da 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 So it's like, at this point now, y'all, I'm just like, okay, like, this is somebody like, besides him being like, my first line of contact was me thinking that he was attractive. I was like, this is somebody that I could potentially be cool with just because it's just like, the more that we're talking, the more information is coming out, the more I'm seeing that me and this man have things in common. So I'm just thinking like, this is somebody that I could be cool with. I don't have no friends here. This is someone who could potentially be a friend. Like we're both content creators. So it's like, even though he has a way bigger platform than me 
for now. <laughs> this is someone that I could possibly like learn stuff from. Maybe we could collab. Maybe we could just have conversations and just relate on the struggles of being a content creator and just little stuff like that. So that's just what I'm thinking in my head at this point, just because we got the, we both just moved here from another city. We got the, we Drake fans. Like it, it was just, it was just like, okay, like it's giving like, you could really be my, my homie or something like that. Like, so it's at a certain point, you know, I'm talking to one of the other girls. Everyone just start mingling, whatever the case may be, blah, blah, blah. So now it is a point where everyone besides six seven and dark skin we're about to go outside and smoke some trees okay before i get to go and do that i had noticed that i had went to the bathroom and walked past six seven and i had noticed that he was on his phone back on doordash y'all there was a whole segment where i was detailing how i was about to order food on doordash off this man's phone but i had winded up cutting it out because it was adding too much just so y'all don't be confused about why I'm talking about DoorDash right now. Because when I initially was going to go on DoorDash and look for something, we had just got so caught up in our conversation that I had completely, it slipped my mind, girl, you didn't even choose a spot. So I seen he was about to order like some Buffalo Wild Wings. And I'm like, oh, do you mind if I look through the menu and see like what you about to order? He like, yeah. So he gave me his phone and I'm looking through the phone and it's none of my business, but it's just something that I noticed. Okay. It's something that popped up. So not not too much on me. It was something that popped up. A message popped up on the screen and it was like, okay, I miss you, daddy. And I was like, oh, <laughs> so this is definitely, <laughs> this is definitely not going to be no more than us being cool because he got something going on already. So I'm like, okay, after I seen that, I didn't even really want nothing from Buffalo Wild Wings. I just like the menu was a menu. And so I'm like, here, you can take your phone. And I had went outside and went to go smoke with RJ and the girls. So we're outside, we're smoking, we're vibing. And then it comes to a point where me and RJ, we're outside by ourselves. Everyone had went back inside. Me and RJ, we get to talking. We get to talking. I'm like, yo, RJ, I know that man. Like, I know him. He like, how you know him? Well, I'm like, well, I don't really know him like that. But I have seen him on social media before. Like, he's a whole influencer. He like, oh, word. I'm like, yeah. And, you know, we started chopping it up. We exchanged Instagram. He like, yeah, because, you know, when I was talking to them, you know, when me and him and his friend was off to the side, we was talking and, you know, they had asked me straight up, like, yo, like, who was that girl to you? Like, is that really your sister? Like, because you know how people be claiming like they brother and sister and they really be hunching on each other and stuff like that. And RJ was basically just telling them like, nah, like she not my blood sister, but she damn near my sister. Like me, me and RJ, we got baby pictures together and everything. Like that's my brother. Like, so he basically, you know, explaining all that to them and stuff. And he basically told me that he told them that, yeah, you know, that's my sister. But, you know, if one of y'all got your eyes on her, you know what I'm saying? She grown. She could do whatever she want to do. I just asked that, you know, don't play with her. But, you know, it's funny that y'all ask about her because she said one of y'all was, was, was attractive. One of y'all was looking good. But she ain't tell me which one. They was like, oh, like, I wonder who, who she was talking about. And RJ gonna go tell me that 6'7", you know, jumped up. Well, not literally, but like figuratively jumped up and was like, oh. She talk about me. She talk about me. He was real confident with it. Like, oh yeah, she talking about me. Like, that's when, you know, RJ had came over, asked me, oh, which one you talking about, da da da. So we had finished that conversation. We're still outside in the backyard, right? And the door opens and it's 6'7". And I'm like, oh shit, he about to come out here to smoke too? But no, he was coming outside to say goodbye to us because they was about to leave. So I'm like, all right, well later. He like, yeah, later. It was nice meeting you guys. I'm like, okay, later, da da da. So the rest of the night, we vibe out. I eventually go home and that was that, y'all. Now we we about to uh, transition into the story story. Okay, that was the backstory. I know it was probably a little long, but y'all had to hear how we got here. Okay, now I have six, seven on Instagram. You know, I'm watching his stories or whatever the case may be. Mind you, y'all see the timeline. <laughs> 
it, it wasn't long before six seven showed his ass okay <laughs> it was it was a long he had posted something on his story probably like a few days after i had met him and it was like a little meme video and it was like oh um when you try to be a certified lover boy and fail or whatever and i'm not gonna get into the details of the video but the video was funny and i had just laughed at the story whatever and i say that to say because when we was talking and when we had both figured out we're Drake fans, he had told me, oh yeah, oh oh yeah, I, I, I'm just like Drake. I'm like, oh really? So does that mean you're a certified lover boy? And he's like, nah, nah. He basically told me that the little certified lover boy version of him is retired. So when I seen that he posted out his story, you know, I just chuckled a little bit because we were talking about that in real life. That's why I replied to his story. Okay, cool. But I just found it weird. I'm like, didn't you say you was a retired certified lover boy but now you're posting on instagram how you be trying to be a certified lover boy and it don't work out idk and then i was a little confused too because i'm like it was somebody talk texting your phone talking about i miss you daddy not that that's any of my business but if somebody calling you daddy that means you're decking them down but again that's none of my business i'm just stating the facts i'm just stating what i saw and what I'm seeing. So now let's get into this y'all, right? Being that I just moved here only a few months ago, anyone that has ever moved into your own apartment, you know like it takes some time for you to start, you know, getting your crib together. Like it's a lot of things that you might get up front, but there's a lot of things that you won't and over time you'll just start getting things. So one of those things for me in this instance, in this story was the fact that my TVs was still on the floor. So I'll more than likely start putting receipts up on the screen in a few. It was probably like, it, we're in March, right? The beginning of February, right? And y'all probably gonna be a little confused, but it, 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 just stay with me. It makes sense in the story, stay with me. It was like the beginning of February, which I'll have a receipt for popping up on the screen at some point. I had booked somebody, some little handyman that I had found on Instagram, a little black man. I'm trying to support a small black business, okay? It was some little handyman that I had found on Instagram who was promoting the fact that he mounts TVs. I had booked an appointment through his online booking link for him to come and mount my TVs because I was at the point where I was ready to have them mounted. Mind y'all, this is the beginning of February, over probably like a month and a half ago at this point. I got a little confirmation message and to make the long story short, the day came and this handyman did not show up. Like, he did not show up, he never contacted me, nothing. And mind you, in order for me to book the appointment, I had to put my address in his little booking information. So now I'm feeling some type of way because I'm just like, how do you have a whole business where people have to book your services and put their private information like their address in and you do a no call, no show. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Like when I find another option, like it's gonna be, I don't know, maybe a company instead of an entrepreneur because I'm out here basically alone I can't have random people that I don't know having my address. Boom, it was probably like a few weeks later, cause mind you, I'm asking my coworkers and stuff, and I'm like, hey, like, do y'all know anybody who can mount TVs? Everybody basically, I don't know how everyone didn't really know nobody who can mount, my, mount no TVs cause everybody have their own crib at my job. But a lot of them was telling me like they mounted their own TV, but you know, they didn't feel comfortable trying to mount my TV because they didn't want to you know, do anything wrong and my TV end up on the floor the next day. Like they just didn't want to be held responsible for that. So one of my coworkers had found a company. Well, he didn't even find a company. He had seen like this big little flyer when he was driving around one day and it was talking about TV mounting for $50. Go Let's roll, friends. And he took a picture and he sent this to me. He like, hey, you know, I seen this the other day. Maybe you should try them out. I'm like, okay, bet. Thank you so much because the going rate for mounting TVs out here is like $90 and up. So when I seen that little 50 piece, I'm like, oh yeah, let me uh, let me check them out. I ain't trying to pay like $90 over $100 to mount some TVs. And I know that if I had like a man, the ish would be done for free. So yeah, no. So it was, let me tell you, the, let me tell y'all the dates. And I have screenshots for this because I, I, I need to make sure that I show y'all that there, there's receipts and proof 
of my actions on my head, okay? So boom, it was actually, um, I believe it was, yes, it was Monday, March 4th, two, two weeks ago, basically. I had called this company that my coworker had sent to me and I was like, hey, you know, I seen your flyer one day and you know, I was looking to get a TV mounting service. And it was like, okay, cool. When would you want your TVs mounted? I'm like, are you available on Monday? Uh, Monday do you have availability on Wednesday? And he basically told me like, yeah, and mind you, we're on the phone, y'all. He basically tells me like, yeah, um, we have availability for that day, so we can schedule you in for that day. So I'm like, okay, cool. So can you confirm like what, what time works best for you so I know when to expect you? Like, I'm off that day, I don't have any plans, but I just need to know what time somebody's gonna come so that I could be prepared. The guy is like, oh, I'll give you an exact time by Tuesday because we're a small business and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. So Tuesday comes around, and I had winded up scheduling an appointment to file my taxes for 3 o'clock p.m. So I'm like, mm, now I'm going to need to know what exact time they're going to come because now I have plans. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't give me a time frame. So I'm, I didn't schedule my tax appointment based around a time frame. So I hit the man up on Tuesday. I shoot him a text message and I'm like, hey, can you confirm if somebody could come between, can you confirm if someone could come between 10 and 12 p.m.? No response. I had sent that in the morning, so it was like four o'clock at this point, and I'm realizing like, okay, the, the guy never responded, so I had called the guy, and the guy, <laughs> he never, he never, he didn't answer the phone, he didn't return my phone call, and come Wednesday, my TVs was still on the floor. <laughs> So I'm like, yo, like this is like, what is going on? Like, what is like, what is what's really good? Like, I, I don't understand why I'm going two for two at this point. I decide to get the bright idea to message six seven to DM him on Instagram and ask him, hey, do you know anybody that can buy a TV? Like, and I'll put the messages here on the screen because I still have those messages. Keep that in mind, y'all, okay? So I DM 6-7, I'm like, hey, did you use anybody to mount your TVs when you moved out here? If you did use anyone. And mind you, I was just assuming that, you know, he had TVs that were mounted because he moved here. And that's not to say that he really did have his TVs mounted or he didn't, but I just assumed like, okay, he's someone that just moved here. You know what I'm saying? It's a high chance that he recently had his TVs mounted and he might know a person that actually can do it. Mind you, I'm asking him because like I already told y'all, okay, I don't know nobody out here. Like the only people I know is my godbrother who he doesn't live in a close vicinity, okay. I got my homegirl from New York, but she was in New York at this point and she told me her and her boyfriend mounted their TVs. I already asked my coworkers, they gave me the answers that they gave me. So the only other option for someone that I quote unquote know, and I say quote unquote, because I really don't know this man, was to hit up 6-7 and ask him. So 6-7, he writes me back, hey, I did it myself. So I respond and I say, okay, I've been trying to get my mounted. I booked one guy a few weeks ago. He did a no call, no show. Booked someone else to do it yesterday and they did the same thing. If you don't mind, can I pay you to do mine, please? He responds and he's like, do you have any tools for it? Drill, stud finder, and where do you live? So I told him where I live. I told him the zip code of where I live. And he's like, okay, when do you want it done? Mind you, this is Thursday, y'all, March 7th. Keep that in mind. So I say, are you free this Sunday? And he responds and he says, I can make some time. Yeah. I'm like, okay, bet. Like, okay, bet. Like, I'm about, I'm finally got to, I'm about to get my TVs mounted. And I felt like at that point, I was killing two birds with one stone. I'm like, I'm about to get my TVs mounted. And this could be, you know, an opportunity for, oh my God, I just spit. Don't watch that. And this could be an opportunity for me and 6-7 to, you know, get to know each other a little bit more, whatever the case may be. Because like I said, I was already kind of intrigued because we had so many similarities from what I could see off of the first interaction that we had. So I respond to him and I'm like, okay, bet, thank you. What time frame works for you? Morning, afternoon, or evening? No response. <laughs> no response, okay? From Thursday, March 7th. So I'm just like, you know what? 
I'm not tripping because it's a few days before Sunday comes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's busy. Maybe he got stuff going on because, you know, from what I could see on my end, you know, it was giving content creator, influencer, like, you know, maybe he be caught up doing whatever it is that he be doing. Mind you, from Thursday, because mind you, I had hit him up probably like in the morning time on Thursday. So from the rest of the day on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he was active on his social media. But I'm just thinking, okay, he'll get back to me when he gets back to me. And if not, I'll double text him on Sunday and confirm if he's still available to do that for me. In the time that I have actually met him in real life up until I guess this point, I'm not going to lie to y'all. After I realized like I had seen him before and now I'm seeing him in real life and now we're connected in a sense, I started looking into his social media like I'm not gonna cap because he's telling me he do YouTube and he do story times this is like the first influencer like that I had actually met in real life so and not to act like okay anyone who's an influencer is on a pedestal but it's just in a sense like somebody that I could relate to so of course I'm gonna look into you and check out your content so you know I went to his YouTube channel started looking through his videos I, I watched a few story times all that jazz if Y'all don't know one thing about YouTubers. YouTubers, we're just like y'all. Like, we be watching videos. We like to watch videos on YouTube. That's probably half the reason why a lot of people eventually, in my opinion, become YouTubers or content creators because they see other people doing it and get inspired and be like, mm, I should do this too. I was like, oh, like, you know, and it's like, you can't know somebody or get to know somebody from their social media, but you can kind of get an idea of who they might be through their social media. So from what I got in real life and then what I'm seeing on the internet now, I'm kind of actually liking, you know, I would say like what's being presented because I don't, <laughs> not really sure if that's really him, but we'll, we'll get into that in a few. You know, I like his mindset, his thought process with the content that he was putting out. And then I had noticed too, like getting back on like the whole little certified lover boy thing. I noticed from like, you know, a few of his story times, he has had a, a few run-ins with a few women where, you know, they apparently was playing games with him and, you know, they, they had, they had baby daddies on the side, husbands on the side. Oh, but cause he told me he did story times. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch the story time. So these is what, this is what the story times were discussing. Like how he has tried to date women and they have done nothing but play games with him and how, you know, everyone automatically assumes that he has a roster because he has a whole bunch of followers and he's attractive and he didn't know he was attractive until people start telling him. Just, girl, just like a whole bunch of stuff. But like I said, y'all, I'm not gonna cap. I, I watched a few videos because I met him in real life, found him interesting. He told me what it was, so I went to go see what it was on the internet. That's what I feel any of us, any of y'all would do if we're going to be real. And he just has like this whole image on his social media that he's like this, uh, what's the word? Hopeless romantic. That's the word. Hopeless romantic. And every woman he comes across just be on some BS and, and blah, 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 blah. Just to give y'all this, the general synopsis, y'all, right? So I already have all of this in my head. So now it's Sunday, y'all. And it is 12.30. And you know, I'll put, I'll put the message on the screen, what's left of them, but <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that very, very soon. I, I was about to say soon and shortly in the same breath, but very soon, okay? I had wrote him on Sunday. I was like, hey, are you still available for today? And mind you, I wrote this at 12.30 p.m. at this point because he still ain't respond to my message from Thursday. But, you know, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, thinking maybe he was busy. But at this point, it's Sunday, it's 12.30 p.m., it's afternoon. I need to know when to expect you so that, you know, I can have everything set up. And let me add, too, in the message when he had asked me, oh, did I have the TV mounts and the stud finder, I did not have any of those items as of yet. Hey, y'all, I'm back again, and I definitely meant to say stud finder and drill i already had a electric drill but i did not have the tv mounts in the stud finder so i think that's why i got confused when i was talking 
Okay, bye. Obviously, I was going to have to pay for some TV mounts, but with the first two options, they was going to include that. Like, they was going to bring that. I would That would have been a part of my total pricing, but they was going to include that, so I didn't have to worry about buying it. But now that, okay, I found someone that's going to do it, I bought the TV mounts, and I bought the stud finder. I will post that uh, re receipt to that on the screen somewhere that I actually bought that, right? He responds maybe about... 40 minutes later and he's like yeah uh what time later and i'm like okay so if he's saying what time later and it's one something at this point i'm thinking like okay maybe he's expecting to stop by in late afternoon evening times i have wrote him back and I have said, oh, I don't even have the message because I deleted it, but we'll, we'll get into that in a second. I have basically said, does 6, 7 p.m. work for you? And then I had put my address. Oh my God, sorry y'all, my camera literally just died. But we back. The address, the apartment number, the zip code, all of that, okay? And at that point, when I had responded back, when he asked me what time later, that was probably around, still within the hour of one, maybe it was like a quarter to two, it was, it was in that time frame. Guess who don't respond again? <laughs> Six, seven, y'all see where the name came from? He don't respond. And now it's two o'clock, it's three o'clock, it's four o'clock, it's five o'clock, it's six, seven o'clock, it's eight o'clock now, and the man has still not responded to my message. Mind you, I have the TV mounts laid out on my couch here. I have the stud finder laid out on my couch here because I'm thinking this man is about to come and mount my TVs. And before y'all say, why would you even use him as an option to come and mount your TVs? First of all, I didn't even see it as a big deal because I was already gonna have two strangers, even though, okay, they were, portraying themselves as companies, whatever the case may be, I was already gonna have strangers come to my house and mount my TVs anyways. So I didn't see it that big of a deal to have someone that, okay, I've known him for two minutes, but at least I had an in-person interaction with him and I felt his energy and his energy seemed to feel like, you know, like he was a cool, genuine person in real life when I had met him. So I didn't see it as a big deal to have him come to my house and mount my TV, t TVs because I already know one of y'all is going to say something slick in a comment. Well, you shouldn't try to have him come to your house in some ways. You should not have come. Listen, all these hours, it's about like seven, eight hours that have passed by at this point and this man has not responded to the message. I go on Instagram around, let's say 7.30 p.m. And the first thing that I see when I go on Instagram, it says that he made a post on his Instagram page probably about an hour or two prior, because I wasn't on Instagram for a minute. So I go on and the first thing I see is you and I see that you're posting and you saying respond to my message. That's suspicious, that's weird. And then I'm like, okay, let me see if he's posted on his story. He po <laughs> Girl, when I go to this man's story, why did all of a sudden, y'all know how like when you go on somebody's story, typically the circle is pink. Why is his circle green, girl? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. The man put me in his close friends, which I have receipts for just in case anybody want to debunk that. <laughs> Just in case I gotta empty the clip on him. Yeah, the man posted me in his close friends and I was so confused cause I'm just like, you agreed to come to my house and mount my TVs. It's been about seven, eight hours and you haven't responded, but you're posting on Instagram and you're putting me in your close friends. I'm very confused because we're not close and we're not friends. Like we're barely acquaintances. Like I don't, I'm confused. Like. So yeah, I clicked on the story cause I'm like, okay, let me see what the, is in here. Cause clearly it's something that he want me to see in here. Not really sure. So the first story, it was a regular story. It was, it was a general story post and <laughs> six, seven gonna go post on his story. And he was like, oh, I got a section at camp tonight. DM me if you trying to pull up. I know you fucking lying bitch. <laughs> And if y'all don't know what camp is, camp is like a club lounge out here in Houston. I'm like, oh, so I guess he's going to camp tonight because 
you're posting this on your story. You haven't replied to my message. You're telling people to DM you if they want to pull up to your section. So that means like if my DM, like maybe like let's say he was busy. If my DM was at the top, you know what I'm saying? Who knows how many people are DMing this man trying to pull up to his section at camp tonight. So my DM is probably just you know just sinking to the bottom so i keep clicking on the story and now i'm in the close friends now i'm in the close friends story y'all and it's not anything razzle dazzle from what i could see he was chilling i don't know if it was at his house or his friend's house but it was dark skin was in the uh was in the story that that was the friend that was there when i met him dark skin was in the story just clowning around or whatever so everyone in the room was laughing so i could hear like okay there was another guy it was multiple guys in the room laughing and then i could hear like a female laughing too and the way he had like the camera propped you could kind of tell like he was lounging on a couch and a female was either lounging directly next to him or on top of him when they were snuggled up I don't know it's none of my business I don't really care you know what I'm saying because my thing is I just wanted my TVs mounted I didn't want anything else from this man other than my TVs mounted okay if anything else transpired after the TVs mounting I, I, I mean which it won't at this point which I will find find out in a few seconds that's none of my business but I'm just telling y'all what I saw and how I drew the conclusions that I drew based off of what I saw. After I see that my DM hasn't been opened or responded to for seven hours, seven, eight hours, po you're posting pictures on your page and you're posting stories and you add me to your close friends and post me and your close friends. And I see that it is like 8.30 p.m. at this point and on your close friends, you are laid up in the crib, chilling with your friends and your bitch. At that point, I was basically like, okay, he's not coming. And mind you, somebody's probably gonna say something slick like why would you even try to have him mount your tvs if you seen that text message from when y'all was at the um when y'all was at the little airbnb let me tell y'all why because the way he projects himself on social media he he projects himself to be a single man and even in like the days leading up to this he had posted like a video which I watched, like, I'm not going to cap. Like, I watched it. Like, what, like, what, is the, what is there to uh, what is there to lie about, okay? He has said something. To, like, the way he was talking, he was talking like he was single. He, so, I, I had just drew a conclusion on, okay, maybe whatever girl that texted him that, maybe they have some type of understanding because he's talking about he's single in a video that was posted, like, a day or two ago. So, yeah, I don't mind asking, okay, can he mount my TV? Because in real time, he's he's projecting himself to be a single man on social media. So, yeah, I'm going to disregard what I saw. Or not disregard, I'm going to keep it in the back of my head. But y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, bet. So after I see all of that, I was on the phone with one of my friends from back home. And I was just telling him, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, should I message him again? Like, I don't know if I should message him again. Because I already don't like double texting. And I had to double text this man on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And I just personally feel like if this was something that this man wanted to do, he would have made sure that the whole day didn't go by to the point where the sun is no longer up before responding to my message, which he never did. Like if this was a priority and I'm not saying like this man had to make me or mounting my TVs a priority. He don't know me. He don't owe me anything. Like, let's just, let's just be clear on that. He don't owe me ish. I'm just thinking in my head, okay, he don't know me like that. He probably don't really care to do that. Maybe he's just being on some typical nigga shit. Like, th this is what niggas do. This is what fuck niggas do. They, they say they're going to do something, not do it. And then on top of that, y'all, he's projecting himself to be this like stand up man on social media. Like, let's, let's just keep that in mind. So I'm just like, mm, it's giving me the ick because no so my my homie from new york he basically telling me he was like yeah um if i was you i would just delete that message in the chat because at this point now even if he decides that he is gonna come like what is what time is he gonna come like 12 a.m to your crib and i'm like yeah like what time does he think he's gonna come to my crib like i'm not no so i i decided to delete that message mind you like i had previously told y'all when i asked him oh it's 6 7 p.m good i had put my address in that same message usually i'd be breaking messages up but i had deleted the message 
only because my address was all in one message and I did not feel comfortable leaving my address in the chat when he clearly was not going to pull up that day. And I had already had my address sent out to two previous TV mounting people who did not show up. It is too many people out here that they might not know me, but they have access to my address and I don't have the time for no bullshit because like I said, I'm out here alone basically i don't have people you know what i'm saying a 10 minute drive away a 20 minute 30 minute drive away like they're like the people the, the one main person that i really have that i know will show up for me is going to take him some time to get here in the event of some bullshit so at this point y'all like i'm pissed off because i'm like i can't believe i went three for three <laughs> that's crazy at this point now i have the ick towards six seven I feel like he's a certified weirdo and I feel like he's a certified capper. Granted, this man don't owe me nothing, but for me to tell you like two previous people flopped on me and for you to agree to do something and not do it and you're actively posting on your social media, it was just like a slap in the face. And again, he don't owe me nothing, but I'm just telling y'all how it made me feel. Like it was just a slap in the face because I'm just like, why would you ever agree to do something and you clearly had other plans? Like, you said you was going to make time. You didn't make the time because you was caught up doing what you was doing and you didn't care to contact me to at least say, hey, can I come another day? Hey, that's just what's going through my head. I went to sleep that night. My TV was still on the floor. I was like, F it. When I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm going to try to find someone else to mount my TVs because clearly six seven is not going to do it. It's Monday and I find another TV company. I set an appointment with them to come on Wednesday. Now, Monday, <laughs> Monday, guess who's watching all of my stories? Guess who's not missing a story? I posted probably about like six, seven stories. <laughs> LOL, six, seven. I posted about like six, seven stories on Monday. Guess who was watching all of them? He was watching every last story. Ain't said ish. Ain't to, and I'm not saying ish either because again, I have the mindset of I have known this man for two seconds. He don't owe me nothing. I'm, I don't have the energy to uh, give him a leasey cussing out session for wasting my time or whatever. It is what it is. Like now I just know how I got to move with this man. You can't rely on him for anything. Like don't expect anything out of this man because he's already shown you that he's gonna play these reindeer games with you okay he's already shown you he's gonna play some type of reindeer game and mind you he the same one that be pre preaching on social media that he hate that oh women women play games he don't trust women he don't believe anything that comes out of a woman's mouth but look at you so now it's Tuesday, y'all. Uh, around, to, and I'm at work. Let me just put that out there. It's Tuesday, and it's like 10 a.m. I get a DM from none other than 6 7. And you know what 6 7 says, girl? 6 7 writes me, and he's like, What happened? You done lost your damn mind. When you get your damn mind, you call me. <laughs> You not being serious, like be like be effing for real. No, you didn't. And let me just add to. Let me tell y'all this man's age. Six seven is thirty two years old, bitch. Oh my god. Don't act shocked. Mm. Six seven is thirty two years old playing these reindeer games. When I tell y'all age is nothing but a number, and I'm speaking on experience too, it be the 30 year old men that play the most games, y'all. I don't know what it is. I, don't, I feel like they play more games than the 20 year old men. Like, it's crazy to me. So he writes me talking about what happened. I'm like, I know, you, I know this man is not being serious. Like, I know you're not. Like, you were supposed to come on Sunday and you're asking me what happened on Tuesday. The math is not mathing. So I go ahead and uh, I'll put it on the screen. I don't know what I'm going to put it on the screen, but it's going to get put on the screen. So I write 6, 7 back. And y'all already know, y'all already know I'm a certified New Yorker, okay? And if y'all don't know nothing about a certified New Yorker, we get straight to the point. Like, we're not... <laughs> we're not doing all this beating around the bush and we're not doing all of that okay so i write six seven back and i say like i said he wrote me around 10 a.m i responded 1 48 p.m 
I said, LOL, what happened was you never hit me back. I ain't tripping though, cause you don't know me and I don't know you, but agreeing to do something and then flopping is disrespectful as fuck. I'm a very understanding person. So if something came up, you could have easily communicated that to me. Period. I personally, think y'all can let me know if I'm bugging. Y'all can let me know if I'm bugging or if I'm tripping. I personally thought that what other response was I supposed to say other than that? Like, that's the reality of the situation. Like, you never hit me back. You don't know me. So, okay, you probably don't know I'm not one of them that you could do these, these reindeer games with. And you did agree to do something and you flopped. Because it's Tuesday. You agreed to do something on Sunday. And it's Tuesday now, and you're asking me what happened as if you don't know what happened. <laughs> so now y'all, it is 3.07 p.m., okay? Probably about a little over an hour later. And I am getting an inbound video call from none other than 6.7. And this is on Instagram because I don't have his number. He don't have my number. All of our communication was on the Instagram platform. I'm getting an inbound phone call and I answer because, and mind you, I, I'm at work, but ain't nothing was going on. It was real slow. So I answer the phone because I'm just like, okay, I, I just want to see what the nigga got to say. Like, let me see what, what he about to say to, because I know, you know what I'm saying, it, that message probably came off a little spicy, but as it should, you deserve that. Why are you asking me at your big age of 32 what happened and you know what the f happened? Like, I hate when people do dumb stuff. Like, I hate when people play stupid games. Immediately when 6-7 answers the phone, I could tell like he's in the gym because he looked like his face is a little, it's a little, it's a little damp, it's a little moist, and I could see like the gym background in his background. And he's like, yo. New York, like, chill, like, chill, chill, chill. And I'm like, I'm chilling. Like, what, what you mean chill? I'm chilling. And it's like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's this stereotype with New Yorkers that we're like super aggressive and we, we be quick to turn up or whatever the case may be. And you know what I think it is, y'all? I just think we're too real for a lot of y'all motherfuckers. That's what I think it is. I think we're too real. Cause you telling me to chill when I said nothing but real shit to you. Like, what are you telling me to chill for? I said nothing but real shit. <laughs> what am I chilling? I, I, first of all, I've been chilling since Sunday. Clock it. I already have another TV company booked and ready to go to come mount my TVs. Clock it. He like. I, I just think like, I just don't think like, I sent you a message and I, I have wrote you back and I was like, oh, what time you wanted me to come? And you never responded to the message. Hey, this oh, is a liar. You got Let me introduce you to a hypothetical logic. I was like, mm, no, 6-7. What actually, and mind you, I'm speaking in this tone. Let's just keep that in mind. I was like, actually, no, 6-7. Like, what had happened was, is that I have responded to you. And I asked you if you was available to come for 6-7 p.m. And I had put my address in the message and 6 7 p.m came around and you still ain't respond so i deleted the message he was like you deleted the message why you deleted the message and i was like because i didn't feel comfortable leaving my address in the chat and you didn't respond well you, you didn't give me no time to respond now now let's say his volume was originally at three it's at a six now volume and energy is at a six let's keep that in mind you you ain't give me no time to respond like like you gotta understand like i be busy like i be busy like i was busy doing stuff like you, you ain't give me no time to respond you ain't give me no time to respond and i'm just like because it's like the way he's saying all of this as if this is not our first time having this conversation and it is like sir i don't know what your schedule is i don't know how busy you are and aren't i don't know you <laughs> how am i supposed to know that you're busy when you're actively posting on your social media you don't look busy to me okay well um well, is your tvs even mounted like your tvs are not mounted though like nah you good like i don't need nobody i don't need you to mount them anymore because i have found someone else to do it like Wow, like, so you, you ain't even give me no time. Like, you ain't even give me no time to respond. 
and the volume is just going up little by little. Let me just put that in mind. So, you know, my volume is going up a little, little by little because it's just like, I'm starting to sense like a little hostility coming out of six, seven's mouthpiece. And I'm just like, why, why am I getting like the sense? Like he's about to start turning up. Like, as if I did something wrong to you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He like, yeah, like you, 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 he, 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 he keeps saying like, I didn't give him no time to respond. So I'm telling him, I'm like six, seven, like you needed seven hours to respond to a message. <laughs> you needed, to, and I was like, you know, and I'm gonna be honest with you too. Like, mind you, I'm still being, you know, calm, but my, I'm matching his energy still. You know, six, seven, I, I'm not trying to clock your movements or anything. Cause you're a grown man. You gonna do what you do. And I don't know you. That's why I said, you know, we don't know each other. So you don't really owe me anything. I go on Instagram and I look at your story and you talk about you're about to go out that night. So yeah, I drew the conclusion that you wasn't going to come. Yo, this man, now he's visibly irritated at this point. He's like, what, what you mean? What you mean? Like just, just because I post on my social media that I'm going out, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean that I'm not going to still pull up. Like all I'm doing is mounting a TV. That's all I'm doing. Okay, well six, seven, like what time did you think you was coming to my crib? What did you think that you was going to come to my crib after the club at 12 a.m.? Like what did you, like what did you, like what did you think? Because it was already 8.30 p.m. when I decided to delete the message six, seven. So what did you, you thought you was going to come to my crib anytime that you wanted to come? I don't know you. Stupid. I, and that's what I'm telling him. I'm like, I'm not gonna let no professionals come to my crib at whatever time they want to at nighttime when the sun is already down. Like, as far as I'm concerned, the day is over and you're not coming to my crib. Even if you thought that you were still gonna come to my crib, you was not coming to my crib. Stupid. Bitch. The fuck? Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. I would've came anytime. I would've came anytime. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like six, seven. Well, it matters to me. Like you're not about to just come in my crib anytime you want to come. Cause after a certain point, I'm going to be in my bed sleeping. Like, what are you talking about? He like, nah, 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 you tripping, you tripping, you tripping. And I'm like, how am I tripping? Like th this is the reality. He like, nah, because I'm just trying to figure out how am I wrong? How am I wrong? I'm like, okay. This is what I'm not like, what I'm not going to do is go back and forth with a man that I met two minutes ago, not even just a man, a grown ass 32 year old man. I'm not about to go back and forth with you on how you didn't wind up showing up, up to my house on Sunday, because at the end of the day, if you wanted to come to my house six, seven and mount my TVs on Sunday, that's exactly what you would have done, but you didn't. You did whatever you did that day. You went out to camp, had a jolly old time, and went to sleep that night and slept well. And, and decided to contact me on Tuesday asking me these, this stupid ass fucking question, asking me, what happened? What happened? What happened? No, I, I, I don't care. Like, and, and that's one thing about me. I don't care how good a man looks. I don't care how many followers a man looks. You do some weird shit, I'm going to call you out on it. Yeah, that, that, that's the type of woman I am. You do some, and, and you know what? And he the same one too, y'all, that was saying in one of his story times that, oh, uh, women don't like taking accountability for stuff. And in this particular story time that he was telling with this one woman that he was dealing with, he would try to tell her little things about herself and she would get upset and da da, -da and look at you. A clown? He's a clown? Getting upset when a woman like me is holding you accountable for your BS. When he says, oh, I don't, I don't even, how am I wrong? How am I wrong? And I'm just looking at him in the camera and I'm like, okay, well, I don't really have anything else to say. At this point, we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. Now you're calling my phone, trying to argue with me about why you didn't show up. And I'm not gonna argue with you because I don't know you. I don't know you to be having a back and forth with you like this. When I said, oh, at this point, we're just gonna have to agree to disagree, girl. Six, seven bangs the phone on me. 
And I think bang is New York terminology. Bang the phone on me means he hung up the phone on me, girl. He hung up the phone on me. He proceeded to unfollow me off of Instagram. I unfollowed the sassy ass man back because that was very sassy. That was very, that was very giving much for the girl. Sassy, sassy pool, okay? And then he proceeds to delete every single message that he sent in our chat to make it seem as though what? I was talking to myself in the DMs? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were trying to do, sir? <laughs> and any person with a brain can look at though, to, can look at that chat and can tell that messages were deleted any effing ways. And, and you know, one thing that you couldn't delete was that inbound phone call, sir. You couldn't delete that. So yeah, let's put like a little side by side, actually. This is the original message. Mind you, I don't even have all of the messages from when he wrote me what happened because I didn't think I would need screenshots for that. But for some reason, I had screenshots of when he agreed to mount my TVs. I don't know why I took a screenshot of that. Maybe I sent it to my mama. I, I don't know. So here's the screenshots of the original conversation and the deleted one. <laughs> just very sassy man behavior. Just very, just very, 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 very sassy, y'all. Because I wouldn't put it past him that he looked through my page, or not through my page, that he looked through my, my channel too and watched a few story times because he was all googly eyed when he was looking in person. So I'm sure that he probably looked through my page and he probably seen like, oh, this bitch be, this bitch be telling all these stories. He, he probably thought I was going to use the screenshots and, and put it in a story time. You thought right, you dummy. <laughs> Got him. And, and, I, and mind you from Sunday, I've been wanting to like block him. Like I wanted to just block him. Like I be on a blocking spree. Like any, somebody does any little weird thing regarding me, I just want to block you immediately. But my God brother was telling me like, nah, don't block him, don't block him. Cause you know, maybe, you know, y'all could collab or something in the future or whatever the case may be. And you could just only mess with him for that purpose. Da, da, da. I'm like, bro, I don't care about none of that. Like, I don't care about collabing with no influencer, with nobody. If it happens naturally, organically on some genuine and they really mess with me and I mess with them, okay, cool. But I I don't care to keep somebody around after they did some weird shit to me for that. Now it's like a few hours later, y'all. And something was telling me, go look at his Instagram story and see like if he posted anything weird. <laughs> so we're gonna look at it together, class. Like we're gonna react to this in real time. Oh, now that's how you clear a bitch. I don't know who that hoe is. Because yes, sure enough, I went to 6-7's Instagram hours later and the man was posting weird-ish on his story. Now, I don't know if I'm going to just play it on my phone or because I screen recorded it. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> because I wanted to respond back. I don't know if I'm gonna post it on the screen or if I'm just gonna play it here, but I'm gonna just play it here for now. And when it comes down to me editing, I'll decide what I'm gonna do then. Cause we're gonna react and respond to 6-7 in real time right now. Okay, let's go ahead and play this little story that he posted. Might I add, at the point that I had looked at his story, let's say I looked at his story right now in this moment. It said that the story was posted five hours ago, right? Our phone call, which was a four minute phone call, it ended six hours ago. So what does that mean, class? If we're doing basic math, that means that he went on his story running his mouth only an hour after our interaction when we were on the phone. Let's get into it. You know, I'm starting to realize I don't think women really like men who have standards and like self-respect. I don't think a lot of y'all like that y'all don't be able to get y'all way with certain dudes or be able to treat them however you want or do however you do them however you want and not get away with it. Like, I don't think y'all like a man that call you out on like shitty behavior or childish behavior or something that just don't fly with, you know, that guy. If we're supposed to see each other and we set a day, you know what I'm 
I'm saying? Like, we're going to see each other this day, and you don't hit me up that day, and you don't say anything at all, and uh, I hit you up that day that we're supposed to meet, and you don't respond, and you never hit me up and apologize and be like, you know, I was doing this and this and this. And hey, how about this time since I flaked or whatever? Like, how about this time, this day? Then that's cool. But if you don't do any of that, I don't know how y'all expect a guy to still fuck with you. Like, y'all want a guy to just not care as much and just let it slide. You flaking on them and they still want to see you. <laughs> I just had to pause that real quick. Because this man, first of all, this man is living in Delulu land. Like, n nobody could tell me otherwise that this man don't reside in Delulu land. You start off your story talking about you're convinced that women hate men. No, 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 no. I'm convinced you're a misogynist. That's what I'm convinced of. I'm convinced that you're a misogynist. Because never did you just get on this internet and cap and lie and say that if we make a plan to see each other and the day comes and you don't hit me up and you wind up flaking on me and da -da 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 -da. first of all sir isn't that what you just did to me so i'm just sitting here like oh my god like this man is a certified capper. He's a certified capper because never did you and and, and nobody could tell listen I could be wrong, but y'all can let me know in the comments what y'all think. There's no way that only an hour after we had this, let's call it negative interaction, you post on your story saying all of this stuff, which is highly related to the interaction that we just went through. There's no way you cannot say, or there's no way that you can say that you are not shading Lisi. <laughs> when you go on your story capping talking about somebody flaked on you stop the cap why are you lying like one thing i hate is a mother liar and a capper first of all you was capping with me and now you going on the internet and capping to your followers trying to act like somebody flaked on you when you was mr flake three you was filet or flake? You know what? Okay, let, let me continue. Emotional maturity and like mature communication. Like you just don't do stuff like that to people if you respect them and respect their time. And listen, it really <laughs> ain't that deep. I'm not pissed off. It's really like a billion women in the world. But like I like I like sharing topics that are real. A lot of y'all need to hear this shit. I'm a very caring person, but shit that's like it didn't really go nowhere or like it didn't really affect my life like i don't care you know what i'm saying so this man says you don't do stuff like that to people when you respect their time it's a billion women in the world what are you what are you talking about my nigga like what are you like at this point what are you talking about that is literally what you just did that is because at your grown ass age of 32 years old i said it once i'm gonna say it again if you wanted to pull up to my crib and mount my tvs on sunday that's exactly what you would have did the same way you had the balls to call my phone on tuesday to argue with me is the same way you could have called my phone on sunday to confirm i, I noticed i didn't get no message back from this girl yet let me call her and see what's up with her you ain't do that and then you talk about if we make a plan to see each other the plan was for you to mount my TVs and go on about your business. There was no plan for us to see each other. I don't know why you talking about, oh, there's a billion women in the world. All I wanted was my TVs mounted, sir. Uh, a lot of people care about keeping like a certain persona online when they got a lot of followers and all that, and I don't care. Y'all need to hear it. I'd rather- Your persona is a certified capper. <laughs> You, you cap on your social media. You all like people care to keep up a persona. You're keeping up with the persona because your persona on social media is that you're this stand-up man who constantly gets played with with women and you don't trust women and women, 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 when you're, when you're really a nigga. Clock it. 
That's the tea. That situation is just one situation out of like my whole life and like, you know what I'm saying? And things that go on. That's, that's just one small reason of why men don't be wanting to date. Like y'all be asking where the good men at and stuff like that. Like it's just, it's stressful and annoying to even like try. Okay. Like the man, the man is rambling at this point. You're talking about, oh, this is why men don't want to date. Who said we were trying to date each other? Who said I was going to date you and you were going to date me? I'm sorry. Maybe he's letting the whole RJ telling him I thought that he was attractive go to his head. Maybe he thought like, okay, yeah, she's inviting me to her house to come mount my TVs and I'm going to show up at 1 o'clock a.m. and mount my TVs and then mount her. Like, I I don't know, but you but you know what? I don't want to get a uh, um then I then I forgot to tell y'all too. The man when he was blacking on the phone on me, he was like, Oh, you just assuming, you assuming, you assuming mad stuff, you assume I don't wanna assume, but it's like what what else do I have left to do other than to assume when your actions speak louder than your words, sir? You you on you on your Instagram story being a certified capper pastor. You like what's that pastor bishop whoever the, that keep getting caught up in stuff? Is it, it's giving that it's giving that you over here preaching this that and the fourth, but you're really how you maneuver in real life is is not what you pr promote on social media. Talking about you're a good man. And you know what? Maybe he is a good man. But he wasn't a good man to be. And he didn't want to be a good man to be. Because I just find it so mind-boggling that this man lives in the Lulu land. And that you did this weird shit. And then you proceed to do more weird shit. And go on your social media and try to flip the story. And try to master manipulate the story. And try to fabricate the story as if what you did to me is what I did to you. And then turn around and say, this is why men don't try to date. I just wanted my TVs mounted. Like you said you could do it and you didn't do it. <laughs> like this story time is probably long as shit. That's the story time of the Sassy Man Apocalypse Influencer Edition episode two, because this is a very sassy man. Like all around a very sassy man. Like I think you're mad that a woman like me called you out on your bullshit, on your bullshit, on your bullshit as soon as I did. I'm, I'm in the era of my life at 25. I'm not wasting time with no man. And I'm not going to let no man try to master manipulate me and try to manipulate the situation to make it seem like I was bugging for calling you out for being on some bullshit. I don't know. Like, y'all tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think about this story. Was it entertaining? Do you agree with 6-7? Do you agree with with Lisi? Are you in the middle? Do you think he was bullshitting and trying to be a master manip manipulator? Because personally, I, I, I think so. At this point, I feel like I dodged a bullet like in every aspect whether this would have been a friendship business shit romantic shit and I'm only saying that because you going on your story talking about how oh this is why men don't want to date nobody was trying to date you I was trying to pay you to do a service for me that you agreed to do like that's all it was and all it was ever going to be now if you would have came here and it would have turned into something else okay instead of just standing 10 toes on you really not wanting to mount my TVs because you clearly ain't want to do it. You decide that, oh, you're going to gaslight a bitch. You're, you're going to try to gaslight me and try to make me feel like I'm crazy for feeling how I feel. You know what? It's cool. I Whatever. It is what it is. But you know what I'm saying? He didn't mount my TVs, y'all. But he definitely gave me content. He put some shmoney in my pocket. <laughs> So that was the that was the purpose. That was the purpose of me crossing paths with him. And let me add in to y'all before I even close out the story time because I know it's long. I had prayed to God. You know, it's so crazy. The day when he was supposed to come and mount my TVs, I had prayed to God because I had had my gut feeling was telling me that he was gonna play some stupid game. I had prayed to God and I had asked God, God, can you reveal to me the purpose of you allowing me to cross paths with this man? Because I know that you didn't allow me to see him on social media weeks in advance and then in real life for no reason. So please reveal if this is someone that's supposed to be in my life. Why, please reveal why you made me cross paths with this man. And God revealed it. He wanted me to make some shmoney. <laughs> God 
y'all wanted me to get to the chick and get to the bed and, and, and show y'all that he a cap ass, lion ass, sassy. Anyways, that's the end of this story time. I don't have much else to say. If you made it to the end of this video, put this emoji on the screen. Definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all figure out who I'm talking about, I really don't care. I, I feel like I kept it real cute because I really could have, if I wanted to put his name out there, I really could have. But again, I already told y'all I do story times for entertainment purposes, not to expose people. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. Again, 6-7 if you're watching. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, let me, let me, let me show y'all too. The TVs are mounted. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Let me show you the TV. My TV's mounted. Okay, period. Okay, period. TV's finally off the mother floor. Okay, because what y'all thought, what y'all thought I was going, you thought I was going to wait on you? Stink. No, 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 no. We, we, we don't wait on mother to make shit happen. We're Mrs. Make It Happen over here. So whether you do it or someone else do it, it's going to get done. And that's why Mary had a little lamb. Anyways, I'm out. I think I lie for you.